Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. When you are watching this video, I will be at 997 subscribers. I need three more subscribers. So I'm hoping between the recording of this video and when you're seeing it, I will already be over that 1000 mark. Thank you everyone who has helped me get to this point. I've had my channel up and running for eight months and I've had a blast. I've gone from Dutch pours, now I'm over to ring, uh, ring pours. I'm doing open cups. I'm doing all different types of things. So when I started out, I just was doing Dutch pours and kind of got a little bored with that. So I really haven't gone back to that, but I will. I, I'm not gonna completely stop doing them, but right now I'm just not really wanting to do them. So today I'm gonna do a ring pour. I'm very excited about these colors. I'm kind of going for a galactic theme an outer space theme. So I picked some colors that I think it's really gonna help out and achieving that goal. So thank you everyone who has subscribed to my channel. If you're a new watcher, please hit that like button. Leave me some comments on my videos. If you like my channel, subscribe to it. That's all I can ask. Thank you so much for everyone who has already subscribed. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size and the colors. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so what we got here is a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. I've got it taped and push pinned in the back. And I am going to be doing a ring pour using my split cup that I got from my good friend in Canada, Sandra's Sensations. We're gonna need about 12 ounces of paint this is a 16 ounce cup, so I am gonna fill it up because as you know in my videos, I like to have extra paint because you never know what's gonna go wrong. So you always want to be prepared. The colors I'm using today, I am using Artist Law Floor Acrylic in the black. I am using Amsterdam's Thalo Blue. I am using Folk Arts Color Shift in the plum. I'm using Amsterdam's Pyrrole Red. I'm using Amsterdam's Titanium White mixed with a little satin enamels. I'm also using Amsterdam's Turquoise Green. And I'm using Creative Inspirations in the Orange Yellow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer my cup. And what I'm gonna do is I think I've decided instead of putting all the colors in each chamber, I'm gonna divvy them up between two uh, chambers or two colors per chamber. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a white and black in one. I'm gonna do a red and orange in this side. And then in the middle, I'm gonna do the blue and the purple and the green and the blue. So my paints are mixed with Liquitex gloss pouring medium. Flow a trawl and the paint and maybe just a little bit of water to thin things out. I want to keep them fairly thick because I am doing a ring pour. So I want my rings to stay together. So let's get to layering my paints. I think on this side, I'm gonna start with the black. This side, I am going to start off with the red. Orange. 
Okay. I'm going to put the blue in first. Shift purple. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna pour white in the center. I'm gonna pour right on top of the white. bad on the dismount. Loving the colors that we got on here. It's beautiful. Uh, what I am going to use today for my flow extender is I am going to use the red. So I did not use any metallics and I did not use any gold. All right, let's start to tilting.
Wow, guys, I really like how this opened up. I'm really getting all the colors really throw, flowing through here. It's just beautiful. I'm loving all of the rings. Guys, it really does make a huge difference to how you mix your paints and the type of pour you're going to do. If you're going to do a ring pour, you need to have your paints thicker. Can you do a ring pour with thinner paints? Absolutely. But the problem with thinner paints on a ring pour is your lines don't hold. I can see so many lines with everything here. Something I did learn at the Fluid Art Experience with taking classes with all the wonderful artists, but especially Mina, because we talked about it, is divide your canvas up into thirds. And so when you're doing something like a ring pour, you don't want the center of the ring in the middle. You always kind of want it off in a third of the, the painting. So if you think about the third line here, dividing your canvas up. So a line straight down, line straight down, line straight down, line straight down. So my, right now, my um, center is in the center but it's off-center, so it's not dead on. I can even move it down a little bit or I can bring it back, I think. Actually, I think I'm just gonna leave it right there. I like it how it is. I am going to touch up my edges. I'm going to give my sides just a coat. I think um, my corners, because I see some bare canvas. So I'm gonna fix that up and then I will torch it off and then I will bring you guys down. bring you down and show you this wet result. I will be right back. Again, look at the lines in this. I really, really love this. I'll bring you in for a close up. We'll start up here in the top left hand side. So as I said, guys, there's no metallics, there's no uh, iridescence. The only thing that's in here is that color shift. And so that is the sparkle that you're seeing in this, which is really, really cool. So I will let you see this dry. I will be right back. All right, here's the dried result. Wow, did this dry just stunningly. Look at the lines I got through this. The black up there at the top, the middle, it just came out so good. I absolutely love this. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll start up here in the top left hand side. Wow guys, the lines on this looks fantastic with gloss medium from Liquitex. Wow, just a beautiful piece how this came out. 
So I will probably put another, I'll put a coat of Liquitex gloss varnish on this to give it some nice sheen. And I will have this up on my website and on my Etsy store. You can email me directly if you're interested in this piece also at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.